everyone, I'm Kelly Ann Holquist, Early Childhood Coordinator at Birmingham First United Methodist Church and Berkeley First United Methodist Church. How many times a day would you say that you eat? Two times? Three times? Four times? The thing about food is that you can only go so long without eating. If we do not eat for a long period of time, eventually we'll start to feel weaker. However, on the flip side of that, if we make healthy food choices, we'll become stronger and healthier. In the story of Jesus feeding of the 5,000, those people must have felt like they were starving. They had been following Jesus around all day, and it was getting quite late. So by this point, they were probably really hungry. You might get super hungry if you miss even one meal. So we can only imagine how these people must have felt. And five loaves of bread and two fish split 5,000 ways does not seem like it would be a very filling meal, but that was all that Jesus had. So he prayed over the meal and began passing it out. And then he passed out even more until more than 5,000 people were full and could not eat another bite. Talk about an incredible miracle. Jesus was absolutely amazing. He was able to take a small portion of food and use it to feed thousands. Not long after Jesus had multiplied the bread and fish, he told his followers something very important. In John chapter 6, verse 35, Jesus says, I am the bread of life. He who comes to me shall never hunger, and he who believes in me shall never thirst. Jesus said that he is the bread of life. Now, when you first hear that, it can sound a bit strange when someone says that they are like bread. But what does that mean for us? Well, in the same way that your body feels hunger, your spirit gets hungry also. But spirit food is not sold in the grocery store. So how are we supposed to feed our spirit? What Jesus is saying in this verse is that when we spend time in our faith and living in our truth, it is though we're eating spiritual food. If we chose not to spend time with our faith and living in our truth, we're starving ourselves spiritually. So ask yourself, how do I spend time with my faith? We would not go days without eating real food, so why go days without the also important spiritual food? Our faith and Jesus are the bread of life. So let's think of ways to spend more time with our faith and living our own truth every day. Let us pray. Gracious and generous God, when we have something to share, remind us to give. Show us the ways you spread your abundance to all people. Amen. Bye.